So that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Uh, everything's there except for identifying all the places that need to be soldered to, tinning them, and then soldering the wire to that particular pad. Putting the top on, that's it. So right now I am almost finished rendering my second video of the day. So that's two videos. Basically this came from a bare frame this morning to almost being finished. Uh, it's just, I'm really tired at this point. So we're going to shut it down for tonight. As soon as that video renders, I will publish it. And this will start my video for Sunday. Uh, the vin video rendered and uh, now I'm posting it to YouTube before I go to bed so I just decided to play a little more how's that look red tail lights in the back green in the front that's the way I've always flown it the flame wheel if you remember was four white arms and two red that was intended by DJI to be flown with the two red arms forward I never flew it that way None of them did I fly that way. I flew them with the red in the back, green in the front. I saw it as tail lights, but I was just killing some time here while that video uploads to YouTube. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday morning. I'm back up and at it. Time to finish the little quad. Uh, I'm going to solder up all those devices. So, I'm going to solder Crossfire Nano RX Pro right here. Ground, voltage, CRSF on TX6 and RX6. And I'm going to do MavLink on it for telemetry on TX7 and RX7. So, I'm going to use these six pads right here for the RC receiver. I'm going to use these six pads right here for the GPS compass. And that will finish the back of the uh, flight controller that I want to solder. So then I will go to the front. I'm going to turn this around a little bit just so we can see it better. And on the front, I'm going to hook the camera. Here's camera one video, camera one voltage and ground. And then I'm going to pick up smart no, no. I'm going to pick up this UART TX1 and RX1 right here for the UART on that Josh Bardwell Run Cam Phoenix 2. So I'll be using those five on the camera. I'm going to use these four on the um, VTX. This will be the video out. This will be the voltage for the VTX ground this transmit right here to transmit smart audio data to the TBS Unify Pro. So that'll be that. These four, these five. Now I do want to, I haven't worked that up yet, I don't know if I'll do it immediately. I do want to put a buzzer right here. That's just lost model buzzer. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and wire up the RC receiver, GPS compass, camera, and VTX. All right, let's get going on that. Oops, there's one more solder point I need to make, and that's right here. I need to bridge this VSW equal VBT right here. Uh, you can either make it VBT by bridging this, or you can make it 5 volts by bridging this. Elsewise, this doesn't have a voltage. So I'm going to make it equal to this one. I hope that's going to be that 10 volts. It's going to be filtered a second time too here, I hope. So I do have to make a little 
sort of bridge right there in addition to everything else I told you. And there's a possibility that I would at some point use this RSSI pad. And lastly, I thought about using this LED pad, but I think I'm actually going to use a PWM output like this output 12 here for my LEDs. But that's in the future. Let's get this thing flying first. All right, now let's solder. I had to do me up a color coding for soldering up the Nano RX Pro and write down the colors of the wires. And I found two different color wires to replace that black and red one. So I've got black on ground, red on five volts, got yellow on what will be CRSF transmit that'll go to receive on the flight controller. This white one will be CRSF receive that'll go to transmit on the flight controller. You can't put Mavlink transmit on four. You can only put receive there. So the blue one's going to be Mavlink receive. That'll go to transmit on the flight controller. And the green wire will go to Mavlink transmit on the RC receiver. And that will go to the receive pin on the flight controller. So now I'm ready to do the. Uh, RC receiver <laughs> and it'll also be my telemetry connection for Mavlink back to the ground station. Okay you can see the Nano RX Pro right there on top of the TBS Unify Pro. You can see the black antenna coming out the back. You can see the gold or brass colored antenna coming out the back of the TBS Unify Pro and the Crossfire Nano is double-sided tape to the top of the TBS Unify Pro. And here's our wires. Let's go for it. All right, we're ready to go. And we're going to be working right here. Ground, voltage, receive, transmit, and receive and transmit. Right there's where we're going to be working. Well, there you go. There's the receiver hooked up to the flight controller. Now we'll go to the right of that, hook up those six wires for the Compass GPS. Just for kicks and grins, I hooked it up to the USB. And uh, you can see the green light. There we go. If I shadow it a little bit, you can see the green light on the RC receiver right there now. I have bound it upgraded its firmware, configured it for CRSF and Mavlink. I'm ready to configure the flight controller to accept that. There's a few little changes have to be made for that. To get this going in our Ducopter, come to the Maytech documentation here for it under the uh, Ardu pilot mapping. And you can see CRSF requires the setting of board alternate config to one. Let's run over and look at that. Board alt config. It's a zero right now. So we'll set that to one. This is a fresh install of our new copter 4.3.3, by the way. So we'll write that perimeter. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't need to see that again. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, this option serial 7 protocol must be set to 23. Serial 7 protocol needs to be set to 23. There we go.
PPM is not supported. Sierra says F also requires a TX transmit. Yes. Set serial seven options to zero. Scrape to that. Copy. Let's see what that is. Serial seven options is a zero. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect. You remember I have this little button on my USB right next to me. I can power down the flight controller, power it back up without moving, <laughs> and reconnect. Look at that. We can see the radio now. There's the yaw working. Here's roll pitch. I don't have throttle right now because I did a throttle cut on the uh, setup on the radio. Flip a few switches here and see what comes up. Not much. So a lot has to be configured on the radio itself but we do have communications and I suppose we have telemetry let's see can we test that right now so we need to set up uh, our Mavlink and we connected right here for power and we've got CRSF working on UART 6 right here now on these two pins and I wired Mavlink on these two pins and that's UART 7. Oh, wait a minute, look what I just found. This side up by default. Hey, I wish they'd put that on the silk screen on the darn flight controller itself. <laughs> I feel much better now. I can see it. I have confirmation of my suspicions. <laughs> Although I was going with my suspicion. Okay, so we're UART 7 for Mavlink. We need to set up now. So back into our do pilot mapping for UARTs and UART 7. Receive 7 and transmit 7 is serial 1 in our do. So. Serial one. Serial one. Let's see. The protocol needs to be Mavlink. That's fine. Let's see. Seems like this was 115. Is that the only thing I have to do? Going to write those. I will disconnect. I will power down the flight controller. I'll power it back up. See, I'll be doing this. Look at that. First time connecting, so looks like we have a little bit of a problem up here with our link quality.
starting. First time you read all these in on a model uh, can be much different from all the rest. But you can also see right now my right hand rule of thumb of do the parameters all read in within 60 seconds. I think it's pretty valid. Now I saw some already gots in there. So I think there's still a little bit of a problem in the telemetry connection. Uh, and a few people have seen me working with this and etc. You know, I might flip those two little wires, although they're sorted on this flight controller. Pretty easy to flip them still for me. Might flip them, see if that doesn't fix that. Go back and look at my uh, Mavlink, what I should be doing to get Mavlink going. But there's Mavlink going with a UDP connection. I do not have a serial connection to this platform right now. And let's look and see. Yeah, yeah. I still have communications with my radio. And I still have... Uh, a telemetry coming back right now through the Mavlink. So my RC receiver is set up well. Uh, this on the screen right now, the radio isn't set up, so I, I'm not ready to do the radio calibration because I don't have all switches set and stuff on the radio. But I think I'm done with the RC receiver. Real quick, let's come back and look at this. Look at the stats on my Mavlink connection. Uh, says it's 91% there. It's 100 now. Here's some lost packets. So I think that connection can be improved. Uh, this up here, I'd like to see the uh, bytes per second a little higher. 1K, it, it's borderline for me right now. I think it is flyable. And you see there is increasing packet loss. That just means they're retransmitted. They're not totally lost. <laughs> they're partially received and therefore declared lost, requested to be retransmitted and received well. They go on. If the second time they lose part of the transmission, they declare it lost again, bump this number by one and go again. So this is pretty high too. So, don't like that getting down in the 800s, but I don't. So, I think there was a clear to send, request to send function that also has to be changed on the Mavlink. That may be when I'm doing it with the radios. Let's see. Oh, yeah, clear to send is not going to get us... much right here board seal one request to send clear to send two is auto yeah, okay so I guess that's not it anyway I did make some changes to that other stuff so I need to save this information for the first time as Oops, 4.3.3. I'll come back and change that to the format I keep it in. But I just wanted to get those saved away. Mav FTP. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, I love new stuff. I love new stuff. So anyway, that shows you the statistics on this Mavlink connection. So that's not going to change. I, I did want to save it away. Now we're going to go on to the GPS module. <laughs>